it's me, Zidane, here today in between innings to go over the NBA. So this is, I think, episode five of the NBA uh, season so far. I haven't made this video in a little bit, so doing that right now, um, I think it's been almost 20 days or something. 21, I've been behind right now. I haven't made a video in the last three days, but I totally forgot about this series. Um, Definitely should have made the video so far. Hold up. Okay, so uh, yeah, sorry I have been behind, but I'm um, gonna go over the standings right now of the NBA and then the stats. A uh, video after this will be I Miss NFL Week 18 review. Um, I was doing every single week except I missed like week 13 or something. It started in week 5, so I don't have those for 4 weeks, but I'm going to do every single week of the playoffs starting with the wild card round. That'll be the next video. Okay, so the NBA standings right now. In the Eastern Conference of the Atlantic Division, we have the Brooklyn Nets at number 1, Philadelphia 76ers at 2. Uh, they're 2 games behind the Nets. The Raptors are 5 games behind the Nets. The Celtics also 5 and 4th, and then Knicks in fifth place are six games behind so really close division top and bottom only six games apart central the bulls are number one the cavaliers are 1.5 games behind and second the bucks are two games behind the bulls every time i say games behind is how many games behind they're the number one so i'll stop saying behind the bulls the pacers are in fourth place they're 13 games behind and the Pistons, number five, are 17.5. So they're basically already eliminated. Same with the Pacers. And finally, for the Eastern Conference in the Southeast Division, we have the Miami Heat. And number one, the Charlotte Hornets, five, four games behind them. The Washington Wizards in third place, five games behind. The Atlanta Hawks, 9.5 games behind in fourth. And the Orlando Magic, 20.5 20 20 games behind in fifth. So then their season's party over too. In the Western Conference, we have the Northwest Division. The Utah Jazz are number one. The Nuggets are six games behind them. The number three Timberwolves are seven games behind. Portland Trailblazers, they are 10.5 games behind. And the last team in the division, the Oklahoma City Thunder, are 14.5 14 14 games behind. In the Pacific Division, we have the Phoenix Sucks and Phoenix, Phoenix Suns at number one. The Golden State Warriors at number two. And my LA Lakers at three. They are 12.5 games behind. I Sorry, I didn't say the Warriors. They are 2.5 games behind the Suns. Lakers are third, 12.5 behind. The Clippers are 13 behind. And the Kings are 17.5 behind. They are in last place. And finally, the Southwest Division. The Grizzlies are number one. The Mavericks are five games behind them. The number three Spurs are 14 behind. So are the Pelicans, 14-2. And the Rockets, the last team in the division, are 17.5 games behind. So that's the divisions. And I want to go over the scores, really. I mean, the um, stat leaders. Sorry, I said that wrong. So we have, for offensive leaders, number one is Kevin Durant with 29.3 points per game. So these are points per game. LeBron James is at number two with 28.8. Giannis Antetokounmpo at number three, 28.5. I always forget. I think it's Giannis. Some people say they want it. Yeah, whatever. Trey Young at number four for Atlanta, 27.7. And Joel Embiid for Philadelphia at number five with 27.3. For assists per game, we have James Harden at number one for Brooklyn with 10. Chris Paul for Phoenix also at 10. Third place, Trey Young for Atlanta, 9.4. DeJounte Murray for the San Antonio Spurs has 8.8. .8. And number five, Kyle Lowry for the Miami Heat has 8.3. Kyle Lowry, did he get traded? Well, I didn't know that happened. And three-pointers made per game. Stephen Curry. Or just Steph Curry. Golden State Warriors, 4.9. Three-pointers per game. Fred Van Vliet for Toronto is 3.9. Buddy Heald for the Kings, 3.6. Anthony Edwards from Minnesota, 3.2. And Donovan Vision Mitchell for Utah, 3.2. Now on defense, we have rebounds. Rudy Gobert for Utah with 15.2. Nikola Jokic for Denver, 13.9. Clint Capella for Atlanta, 13.1. Jonas Valanciunas for New Orleans, 12. And Dementis Sabonis for Indiana at number 5 with 11.9. For blocks, Miles Turner 
for Indiana has 2.8. Rudy Gobert for Utah is 2.3. Sharon Jackson Jr. for Memphis has 2.1. And then Mo Bamba and Robert Williams. Mo Bamba for Orlando and Robert Williams the third for Boston. They both also have 2.1, so they're all tied for third. And then we have, finally, in steals, DeJounta Murray for the Spurs has two per game. Marcus Smart for Boston with 1.9. Then Chris Paul for Phoenix and Gary Trent Jr. for Toronto. All three of them are tied for second. They all have 1.9. And Matisse Thibault for Philadelphia has 1.8 at fifth. Um, I'm going to go really quick over the standings again, but uh, as playoff. Okay, yeah, so... These are the playoff standings right now, the teams that would make in the playoffs and the teams that make the play-in tournament. So in the Eastern Conference, number one is Chicago Bulls, number two, Miami Heat, number three, the Brooklyn Nets, number four, the Cavaliers, number five, the Bucks, number six, the 76ers. Then we have number seven, the Hornets. So these seven through 10 make the play-in. So number seven, Charlotte Hornets, number eight, Washington Wizards, number nine, Toronto Raptors, number 10, Celtics. So those four teams would play in a turn, like a... Two teams play, the other two, uh, like, one team plays the other, the other team plays the other. They play, whoever wins the two games play each other, and whoever wins that and the winner of the losers game go on. So there's eight total teams. And the eliminated teams are the Knicks, Hawks, Pacers, Pistons, and Magic. In the Western Conference, the top six teams are the Suns, the Warriors, the number three Grizzlies, the Jazz, number five Mavericks, and number six Nuggets. And then the play-in tournament teams are the Timberwolves at 7, the, the number 8 Lakers, the number 9 Clippers, and the number 10 Trailblazers. The eliminated teams are the Kings, Spurs, Pelicans, Thunder, and Rockets. I think 7 plays 10 and 8 plays 9, so if the season ended right now, the Lakers would play the Clippers, and whoever won would play either Tim, the Timberwolves or Blazers. Um... But yeah, that's really it for today. I'm going to try to come up with more stuff for these NBA seasons so far videos. Um, but sorry for it being like 21 days. It's supposed to be every two weeks. I made it almost like every, I made it three weeks. But uh, I'll be more on top of it now. But thanks for watching. That's it for today. Peace.